a really serious question. What is the hammer? <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and it's one of those things where, so funny in context, <laughs> less funny when you scream it to me from across the street, <laughs> or from the next table at a restaurant when I'm on a date. <laughs> that uh, line which is infamous and legendary at the same time. Uh, <laughs> I thought, this is the best line ever. And then I started to realize what it meant to have that line and have people yelling at you all the time. <laughs> I thought it might have been a bit of a curse, but it, it's rare that it, it's a curse. It's actually been a, really, a real blessing. I see, I saw some kind of internet meme. Meme or men? Me. Yeah, but here in Canada, the French. <laughs> what do we say? Say the men. I feel terrible for this little lady. Okay. Don't feel too bad here. All right, she's over. Yeah. How, how hard are you pitching? <laughs> I mean... You're asking me or her. <laughs> um, who asked that? You just asked that. I just gave you the thing, right? You got it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, there's some sort of internet meme with uh, Thor's hammer. Whose hammer is this from? Some, somebody else's hammer. I can't remember the third guy. Oh, the third guy was me. He's like, ask me about my hammer. Yes? Um... Hi, first of all, hi, Captain. Um, can first you of all, I love your outfit. Thank you for dressing up. Thank you. Can you say a quick hi to my mom and sister and tell me a funny story from Firefly? Hi, you mom and sister. One time on Firefly. <laughs> Adam Baldwin thought I put, um, I played some practical joke on him. So he took gummy worms and he sprinkled them across my wiper blades. <laughs> in August. <laughs> Dude, why did you do that? Oh, well, didn't you do the thing to me? No. Huh? <laughs> no. I love that. Oh, here. How much time do we have left? How are we doing? This is it. Last question, everybody. Aww. Now pretend it's cool. Last question, everybody. Woo! Hey, first time this girl was an amazing person, but she just gave me the last question. <laughs> wow. If I could live on the set of any of my characters' places. The setting, not the actual set. <laughs> so like, if, for example, if it was Cass's apartment that was actually in New York. Yeah, like <laughs> that would be a thing. Uh, because see, that doesn't happen. People really don't have that kind of stuff going on in New York. The vast majority of us. I lived in New York for three years. I lived in Cave. <laughs> at the bottom of a hill, in a basement, in a hole. Um, oh, you want light? That's extra. I literally went to a guy's apartment, it was this huge apartment, I said, oh my god, you got so much space, this must be so prohibitively expensive. He said, no, it's actually pretty cheap. Said, what? You got this couch? What? How could you? He said, take a look around. What do you see? I'm like, a uh, big apartment. He goes, what don't you see? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He goes, he said, windows. <laughs> One window, frosted, 
Not big enough that you could escape in a fire. In the bathroom. When you opened it, it was to a tunnel to the top of the building. It's like everybody has the same bathroom window. You gotta look at everybody's face. How's your poop? So, I would say I would live in Cass's apartment in New York City on Broom Street, because that's uh, really lovely real estate. Or else I guess have Michael Reynolds, because he could fly wherever he wanted to this apartment, right? <laughs> Guys?